What if I told you that you could send files from your Android device to your Mac by using Apple's inbuilt AirDrop? Yes, that is what we are going to do in this video. However, there are a few limitations. For starters, it is only for Android to Mac. Then the maximum file size is 4.2 GB. And yes, it is using Apple's AWDL protocol, which is the same technology found in AirDrop, which means that you do not have to install any app on your Mac. All you have to do is install an application onto your Android device. And this here is the application which you are looking for. It is called WarpShare, which is an open source application. The GitHub link is in the description of the video. And of course, a huge thank to the original developer of Moki who created this warp share application. So here it is. We are on my Google Pixel 5, which right now is running Android 14 beta 5. Then you need to go to the GitHub page for this warp share application, which again is linked in the description of this video. And herein, you need to go to the releases section. Once you go into the releases section, you will see that you have a bunch of releases and the app which we are looking for is in the assets section. So if it is not expanded, tap on the arrow besides it and it is going to be expanded and then select this app hyphen release dot APK, which is going to download the APK file onto your device. Next thing we need to do is we need to install this APK. So let us go into the files application. And once you are in the files application, you can go into the apps section here and go into app installs. And here it is app hyphen release dot apk this is the one which we just downloaded do you want to install warp share of course we do want to install it now if files app does not have permission to install apks on your device you will have to grant that permission once the application has installed successfully all you need to do is open the warp share app and here it is it does need some permissions so we're going to say grant permissions and the first permission it is looking for is to find connect to and determine relative position of nearby devices of course that is how airdrop works allow that and it wants to access music and audio so if you want to share your music files yes we're going to allow this as well and then for photos and videos now with android 14 you have new permissions like select photos and videos allow all or doesn't allow let us say allow all then if you do not already know then airdrop does use bluetooth so we're going to turn on the bluetooth onto our google pixel 5 over here and pretty soon the macbook pro should show up now another change which you need to do on your mac in case it is not showing up on your android device as an airdrop target is to go in the settings and make airdrop accessible to everyone so we will tap on the apple logo on the top left then go into system settings once we are in system settings we will go into the general settings and here and go into airdrop and handoff now here and you can see that airdrop for me is set as everyone and that is a prerequisite for you to use airdrop from your android device to your mac without installing any third party app on the mac so make sure you set this as everyone it is not going to work if you have set it as no one or contacts only and the next thing is let us go to our android device select my macbook pro over here and then let us say i want to share this apk so i'm going to select that and there it is you can see i got a notification on my mac that pixel 5 would like to share app hyphen release.apk i'm going to select accept over here and at this point the file is being transferred to my mac and here it is airdrop received from google pixel 5 and now if i go into my downloads folder bam here it is this is the apk which we just received via airdrop from my google pixel 5 running android 14 onto my mac over here which is running mac os ventura and we did not have to install any app or any third-party application on my mac this is super 
cool and super awesome however there is a limitation that it is not going to work the other way around so if you want to transfer from mac to your pixel 5 using airdrop that is not possible at the time of recording this video but if and when it is made possible you are going to see our video on this channel